So I've been gone for two weeks. Um, surprise, surprise, I'm back. <laughs> What is up you guys it is me jordan orion back with another video it's been two weeks since my last video i could go on a whole you know explanation of why i've been gone i've been sick work life the and honestly all that has been going on but y'all don't really care we do not care nor do you guys really want to hear the excuses so we're gonna just jump into today's video back to regular schedule programming because we got a lot to talk about let's go so in the two weeks that i have been gone from youtube a lot has you know went down on the internet in the blogs on channels on tiktoks and i have multiple topics that i will be talking about in today's video which is a first for me i've never talked about multiple popular culture topics <laughs> why am i phrasing it like that i've never just made a whole video with like multiple topics so this is a first for both you and i and we're going to first talk about sexy red get it sexy get it sexy but before we get into that can we take a moment for this look can we take a moment for today's look y'all i was watching um the youtube august recap of love and hip-hop in the recent season jasmine I don't got any tea for you, babe. <laughs> hey, ladies. So what's tea? I don't have any tea for you, babe. I just thought her makeup look was one of my favorites I've seen in such a long time. Like, I wanted to recreate it. And summer's coming to an end. It's giving summer vibes. It's giving dewy. It's giving bright. It's giving color on melanin. And I'm really proud of my little recreation. Like, I think I kind of did something or whatever. The first person we're going to talk about is Sexy Red. If you do not know, you're under a rock because this has been a huge, huge topic on a lot of blogs, YouTube commentary channels. It's just been discussions on TikTok. Like, it's a big thing. And that is Sexy Red's glosses names, which let's just get into it. Let's just, let's just do it, okay? Sexy Red. Yep, Google already know what it is. Um, <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, where is the pictures? Here we go. So she posted on her Instagram. When did she post this? On August 19th. Looks like she posted this on August 19th. The names of her lip glosses goes as follows. Her first one is called Uchi Juice with a C, Booty Hole Brown, Nut, uh, Pea Hole Pink, Yellow Discharge. I hate that word. Ugh. Ugh. Gonorrhea, a STI, Blue Balls, an X on my period with an S. Ew! Y'all. Am I surprised that Sexy Red would come out with these shocking and ignorant names? <laughs> no, I'm not. Do I think this is on brand for Sexy Red? Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Yes, I think it's definitely on brand for what she's promoting, what she says, what she talks about, what she endorses. This is definitely on brand for her, but does it make it right? That's up to you. Personally, to me, I think it's a free country. She's an artist. This is how she wants to express herself. This is how she wants to start off her cos cosmetic line that I guess she'll be, you know, launching. Um, the bigger conversation that I'm seeing around this whole situation, the names of these gloss, um, is, how can I say this? I'll just say this. Sexy Red is being promoted, pushed, has so many people who listen to her songs and not only listen to her songs, but are repeating the lyrics she says. Um, 
she is spewing out a lot of ignorance she is promoting a image that a lot of black women um have been subjected to and she is i think she is contributing to just the culture right now that is really ignorant that is taking things that should be seriously serious not serious anymore like having a gloss called gonorrhea when stis and std rates are going up more and more it's not anything to play about like that's nasty that's an infection because you're not protecting yourself are up on your sexual health um this is a very all i'm gonna say is this is on brand for her personally for me i do be throwing it back to some of her songs i do and do get it sexy get it sexy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie she has some bangers very ignorant bangers <laughs> real explicit bangers but also for her to be promoting this to her audience which majority is younger the younger crowd younger teens young adults apparently she has had special appearances at high schools what high school is doing that what high school is saying you know what out of all artists let's bring sexy red not saying anything is wrong with sexy red but i just think in an educational institution setting no but anywho, that is Sexy Red. That's my thoughts. Will I be purchasing? No. Especially after I seen a TikTok that, you know, resonated with my sentiments. I'll insert it now. <laughs> Your lip gloss is so cute. What is that? Thank you, gonorrhea. What? Gonorrhea by Sexy Red. Do you want to try some? No. Oh, well, I've got other shades. Yellow Discharge, Coochie Juice, Booty Hole Brown, Pussy Hole Pink. Now let's go into Chris Sells. Because Chris Sells, I don't know what his intentions are with just the latest news revolving around him. But it's a little side IE. Side IE. So firstly, he has a 20-year-old girlfriend. Now, Chris Sells, from what I'm aware of is 29 let me double check okay he is tw okay so according to google according to google he is 28 and his girlfriend's 20 so do the math they're eight years apart that is a rather substantial age gap but it's but it's not at the same time but for me it's substantial because she's not even allowed to drink you know not too long ago, if I can find the clip, I hope editing me can. But he was shooting his shot at just, just the prankster. She just turned 21. I want a girlfriend. Can y'all help me find a girlfriend? I'm like, for real, for real. I got somebody in mind, but I think she playing games. Y'all know who Jessica, uh, Jessica the prankster is? I think she playing games with me, though. I want Jessica, but... Like, Chris Sells... Hearing his 20-year-old girlfriend talk about their relationship in defense of the comments and people just reading into the relationship, as I think she, you should do when you're in a relationship, you should protect your relationship at all costs, but, you know, legally. But, you know, she's, you know, talking about it and hearing her talk about it, it just, it mirrored me. Like, I'm so young, you're so young, dealing with a very mature man. He's not, of course, 30 or pushing 40, but he's mature enough to have finances, to have like a career. He just has a lot more than a 20 year old would have. And hearing her speak, she sounds young. Since apparently everybody, everybody got a problem with me talking to somebody or being with somebody older than me, right? Cause I'm 20 years old. I'm not 19 actually. I'm 20, okay? And everybody keeps saying Chris 35. Chris ain't 35, he's 28, okay? Stop telling people my age. Anyways, that's a that's a thing though. Like everybody on here have a problem. Like oh, like Chris, you're too old for her. She she young minded and so on. Her front a little bit developed. Them, them kind of comments or whatever. I've been getting this one entire time. And I'm just sitting up here like, how huh, how do you know how mature I am? Like personally, like y'all don't know me. I don't know y'all or whatever. But like, how many of y'all parents is like? 
15 years older than each other, like way older than each other. None of y'all, I'm, I'm pretty sure, some of y'all that got all these comments to put on here, your parents, your, your parents are like 15, 8 years apart, okay? I don't see the difference. It's not like Chris knew me when I was 15 years old or 12 years old when I was watching his videos when I was younger and stuff like that. He ain't know me. It's not like he groomed me or whatever to wait till I got older to talk to me or anything like that. He ain't know me at all. I didn't know him. I didn't know him personally and he didn't know me at all. He didn't even know I existed until I like, you know, I met him and whatever and whatnot. And actually, I didn't meet him two months ago. I didn't know him, whatever. I just met him in person two months ago. You know what I'm saying? So, like, while you up here, y'all are out here with all your theories and comments and your negative comments and things that y'all got to say. It, it's, it's crazy to me because I'm pretty sure some of y'all baby daddies ain't even, you know, the same as y'all. Y'all act like in order for somebody to love somebody or like somebody or even be with somebody, they have to be. The same age. Or within the same age group or whatever. Like, y'all. Fuck like, that tea, honey. If, if I go and I find somebody, right? If I'm going to find somebody that's like, let's say, 35, because I've talked to dudes older than Chris, actually. Um, if I'm going to find somebody that's like 20, you know, 10 years older than me, 15 years older than me, and I love them, and I really like them, and I like the way they treat me, I'm just supposed to be like, nah, he's too old for me, and just leave him alone? That's that, that's that's all I really want to know, because, like, I, I didn't know that all of a sudden, now that I'm an adult, and because uh, I can't drink, there's an age limit on who I should be talking to, first off. And I don't even drink, so it doesn't matter that I can't drink. It is, it, I don't even understand why that's even thrown in there. Mm -hmm. but, but that's all I had to say. That's all I had to say. And I, under, I, I can see her point as to, you guys don't know me, like, you don't know how mature I am, da 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 and we don't. I don't know. I just find it very weird. I find it very weird. Why are you... Why are you going after the youngers? Younger, younger, younger um, women. I have nothing against age gap relationships. I feel like if you guys are both legal and you guys um, want to be in the relationship, okay. But I feel like it's a little side id when someone is so, so young, not even legal to drink yet. And they're with this older, 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 older 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 man i don't know why i did it like that yeah so i guess that's on that wait 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 i'm editing this video right i'm scrolling on tiktok so i was like it has to be something else that i recently heard regarding uh chris Sell's girlfriend i guess her name is jasmine taking plan b pills why did i see this clip which i'll insert now put a finger down if you just met this dude, right, like two months ago. And because he don't have no pullout game, he never you every time y'all, you know what I'm saying, did the dude. Figured it out, so keep going. And on top of that, you took three plan Bs, but they ended up not working, so. All you, that means is that's a child of God. <laughs> anyways, you took three plan Bs and they didn't work. And then on top of that, your period was like 23 days and you didn't know what was happening to you and then you were in serious pain so you went to the hospital and when you went to the hospital they turned you down so you had to go home and then you had to figure out what was wrong with you because you were in such pain and then you thought you was having a miscarriage so you called your sister and your sister told you you were probably having a miscarriage can i say then, something what period don't stop no but a sentence baby come on <laughs> This is my problem with the situation. Chris Sell just maybe is just not mature. But why are you putting this young girl through this? Like, and again, because she's young, she's allowing this man to do what he wants during intercourse, which is putting her body and her through a lot, taking plan B bills, like our bills. Plan P, what the world is a pill call? You know what I'm talking about. I don't, I just, it's weird. It's weird. It's odd. It's strange. He moves odd to me. He He's strange. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? Because I don't know what to think. I'm going to just mind my business regarding them because this is probably going to be my last time talking about Chris Sells and his girlfriend Jasmine. Hopefully. But the other topic I want to talk about is his two cents into his ex-wife's and her man situation. I'm going to say this. Chris Sell married her, though. 
you know he has a point in like i wiped her he wiped her but look though i feel like if a dude if you've been dating a dude for six plus years and he still haven't married you why are y'all still in a relationship because the goal is to ain't, ain't the goal is marriage or am i tripping ain't you i'm not getting with somebody and i'm just staying with them and i'm not trying to marry them I don't get it. Like I'm not. I'm personally not doing that. I give for me. I give about three years to see if I want to marry you or not. If I don't want to marry you, we breaking up because I can't see my future with you or I can't see the rest of my life with you. But if I do want to marry you and I can see myself marrying you, then I'm gonna put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Uh oh, only that knows me know. I don't. I don't care. I don't care about what she got going on. What he got going on. I've been past that. It's been six, seven plus years. But my thing is, if I want to talk about something, I'm going to talk about it. But I don't really like them. I'm just being honest. She can go do way better than bro. I'm just being honest. I don't even think bro came out with a clothing line since he first met her. He's been talking about the clothing line for six, seven years. I'm just being honest. Clarence, I did a whole video about that. I will link it in the description. Clarence is not wifing this woman. And it's been, what, 10 years? Wait, has it been 10 years or six years? <laughs> six years, one of the two. It's been years, and it's like, y'all have a child, y'all have finances, y'all live together. What more are you needing from her? What more are you wanting out of this relationship until you get on one knee, propose, then plan the wedding, be at the altar, and say, I do? I still have my, like, gripes about that, but anywho, you can hear more of my opinions in that video. Wait, 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 wait. So there's been a lot of talk about Clarence and Queen after their six year anniversary passed and Clarence gave her roses instead of a ring. And he recently posted a photo that he gifted Queen some more roses. People were stating things like the roses again and she's so tired of roses well the cover art of her new single is actually a batch of roses so maybe she made the cover art of that song the roses because everyone is making a big deal about these roses but anyway someone states can you put a ring on her already clarence says i got you now they are on vacation right now in mexico and queen was spotted out wearing a bride-to-be hat with a new ring on her finger. So you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Are Clarence and Queen actually engaged right now or is Queen just trolling? Now I'm going to say trolling because I don't think she would announce her engagement this way, but you guys let me know down below. Hate me for this all y'all want. I know it's coming from me, so y'all ain't gonna like it, but I don't give a f But if bro do get a ring, it's gonna be a uh, hair. Just hair. Just because. It's not gonna be like no genuine thing at this point no more. It's gonna be like one of those things where it's like forced. And them don't never work out. But they gotta stay together. Because at the end of the day, let me tell y'all what happened. I'm just being real, right? At the end of the day, they gotta stick together because it's like, I know... Queen don't want to be, you know, looked at as, it's like, damn, I got two baby daddies. Nah, it's just, boom. Like, and I was an ex-wife, and I got two baby daddies. It's like, you feel me? Like, that's, that's kind of tough. I think somebody said that she she, she going to be like the next summer war. Like he said, you know, it's a public topic. Uh, he has the freedom to speak on it. If he wants to, he did so. And I do not totally disagree with what he said. Although I do think he still kind of moves odd and is odd. I don't disagree. What do y'all think about that clip? <laughs> That's all I want to ask. I'm going to pose it to y'all. What do y'all think about that clip? What do y'all think about him adding his two cents into change that was never asked for from Queen Nigel or Clarence? What do y'all think? Next <laughs> on the totem pole is Sky Jackson. Now, I said in my last video I would talk about her. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have much to say about the situation. I feel like... I met Sky Jackson actually funny enough when I was young the funniest thing that I think I was like hearing about the situation of her being arrested is people saying another Disney Channel star down it's like y'all calm down calm down my only think piece on this manner is the access and the proximity the starlets have to a good selection of men and then the beginning with men who are not, let's say, as 
classy cutesy demure like <laughs> i don't know um i always just find that interesting and i did see a picture of her pregnant and if it is true that she is with child of course i wish her the best pregnancy i wish a healthy happy baby and i also wish that they can come to a they can come to a good relationship because they will be linked to each other forever ever 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 forever however i'm sure they're not together anymore especially after i saw this clip with sky jackson pretty much saying men are unreliable you can tell she's hurt <laughs> she is hurt and she's going through the phase of forget all men men suck i'm bad by myself i'm gonna be bad by myself per 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 y'all already know what i'm about to say never ever ever depend on a man for anything period because he's not gonna get it done now let's go into j-lo y'all miss jenny from the block don't be fooled by the rocks that i got i watched her movie and the documentary of the making of her movie watching the movie i will give it <sighs> people were really getting into her during this film and i wouldn't say it was that bad it definitely was i would never watch it again that's crazy though that she put 20 million dollars into this film and is now divorcing the man that inspired the love story they had apparently to make this mu to make this um the music and the movie crazy not only that but it's like the biggest lesson we can learn from her situation is to protect your relationship you don't have to show everything you don't have to prance around about your relationship you don't have to uh, brag about your relationship and how good he is and, dun, dun, dun. and i kind of knew y'all it was over between her and him when i though when i saw this one clip of this man slamming her door after like opening it for her so she can get in he slammed that door like he was done with her in life itself I was like, oh, 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 J Lo, Ben, what's going on? Even in the documentary, you can tell that he was not interested in being filmed in the letters being shown that he wrote to her privately. And the some of the stuff he was just saying, the remarks he was making, it was definitely giving like, girl, is he really on your side about this? Do y'all consent to this? <laughs> like. And then I went down there, and my book that I had given her was down there. She was like, I've been reading, and the people, this is the kind of inspiration I've been showing them the book. I was like, hey, you, you've been showing all the musicians all those letters that, uh, and they were like, yeah, we, we call you Penn Affleck. And I was like, oh my God. That thing, and in Jennifer's case, uh, I don't think there's enough followers or, or, or movies or records or, or any of the stuff to, to still that part of you that, still feels a longing and a pain ultimately that's the work that you've got to do on your own my life it moves you i know as a writer a director like i certainly do the same things but things that are private i had always felt are sacred and special because in part they're private and j-lo this is like she's had many marriages no shame on that look sometimes you gotta kiss a few frogs well I, you kiss a few frogs but you don't marry each one i don't know i don't know i just do feel bad for the woman because it's like i can tell that she really valued this relationship now i'm not sure she really loved him or was it more for the image but you can tell that this relationship meant a lot to her and she was trying to use her platform to tell a story to be very creative and be an artist and it's like it's just all going to nothing. That 20 millions went to a film that you're not even living anymore. A story that you're not even living anymore because you and him are divorcing. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I do. The deeper, you know, conversation again. Protect your relationship. Protect your relationship. You don't always have to talk about the people that hold so much value to you because more than anything, people's opinions can cause destruction within 
the relationship and before you do so you need to make sure that y'all foundation is foundationing that y'all are both on the same page and y'all feel secure and i do not think that happened and now i think she's in the predicament and he's in the predicament that they're in and i just wish them the best a lot of healing and hopefully you know no bad blood so next last week y'all i was why i was scrolling through tiktok as many of us do and i was hearing this discussion about jody woods now jody woods i think firstly she is beautiful and her style is chef's kiss jody woods now a lot of people were just talking about how she looked older in her um pictures that she was taking and i'm not going to lie she definitely looks older than apparently she is how old is jody woods let me see Okay, so she's 17 years old. Okay, older than I thought. So Jody Woods is 17 years old. And I'm thinking back in my memory bank of the Instagram post I've seen of her. I guess for the lifestyle she's in, for the access she has in the industry, it kind of makes sense to me. I never looked at her pictures and was like, oh my gosh, she's acting so grown. I think she just has access to getting the best makeup, the hair, the skincare, the outfits, just the appearance as a whole. And she's using it to her benefit. Not only that, y'all, but she's in the limelight. Like this teenage girl has a lot of eyes on her. And in that industry, in that space, you got to kind of be put on, you know, put it on, put it on, put it on. Yes, although some of her pictures, I do think she looks a lot older. Like, I definitely didn't look like that, nor was I posing like that at 17. But I'm also not in the position she is. I guess that's my two cents into that conversation. What do y'all think about Jodie Wood? And not even just her, but just the young girls coming up. I definitely will say, though, what happened to the ugly duckling phase i know this has been a discussion but on my platform i'm gonna ask what happened y'all like do we not do that no more these young girls these middle schoolers and high schoolers they have the recipes at their fingertips there's a makeup tutorial for everything an outfit tutorial for everything there is a guide to poses like they don't have to go through the ugly duckling stage because they have all of that information and accessibility and lessons and tutorials at their fingertips it's girlhood to want to look older than you are especially at the age of like 16 17 when you're right there at that cusp of 18 like that's nothing new it's just so much easier to do it now it's so much easier to be grown because you have the recipe the sauce everything like you can get to it if i could have found an eyebrow tutorial when i was 14 and 15 I swear i would have it took me until i was about 16 17 to find an eyebrow tutorial but that's what i'm saying the recipe is there they don't have to search that hard for an eyebrow tutorial there's also way more products out now for these things when i was in high school they were not making contour palettes and these beautiful cream blushes they're making powdery blushes and cream eyeshadow sticks so it's so much easier to look older even unintentionally because that's just where we are right now so on another note too when it comes to jody woods she has millions of followers there's 17 year old girls everywhere posting little fast pictures and of course i'm not okay with little girls being fast like that's not what i'm saying it's just a different time that's why all the girlies look older than they actually are because like they can like and it's easy to it's not hard to do it's not hard to do when you know how to overline your lips and do bombshell girls yeah i i do wish and i know my child if i have a daughter she will be having an ugly, well, I don't want to say she'll have an ugly phase, but I'm going to allow her to figure herself out. And some days I know she's going to be looking a little questionable, but we should have those questionable days. <laughs> uh, what do y'all think about that? Next. Let's go into London on the track. And his trifling actions. Of putting his children's faces on the internet. When the mother of his children, you can tell she does not want their eyes or their full identity shown on social media. All I'm going to say to this is, yes, both parents have a say in how a child should be, you know, taken care of and uh, cared for and represented and all that. But I feel like in their particular situation, y'all are both public figures and if your mother the mother of your child is doing something to protect your children from hateful comments why would you in turn then put them on the public display on public display for potential ugly comments actions i don't know and i mean if i'm thinking about it he probably did it to get a rise out of summer but 
if you did do that to do that, sir, it's so trifling. Like, in that arena, the mother of your child, your ex-partner is trying to protect y'all's legacy. And you putting them out there when you can definitely tell what she's doing. I just find it very disrespectful and not very demure, not very mindful. That's all on that. Now, let's go into these quick topics that I just want to run through real quick. So SZA, who's one of my favorite artists, um, she just, she recently tweeted a tweet pretty much talking about, like, love. Like, I'm never going to do this again. I'm going to put the tweet up. And you know something? As women, I notice that we do this. And it's like when one hurts us, we make love or just men or whoever we're interested, like, the devil. And we have to stop that. Like, we have to stop putting, allowing one to mess it up for all. Because not all men or whoever you're interested are like that. It was just this one that probably effed you over. And <laughs> you should hold him just accountable. Not the whole, like, everybody, you know? But I just find it interesting because also what Sky Jackson did, like, put in the message, like, men are not reliable. Your man wasn't. Now, I also saw this and I thought it was pretty interesting that it was a survey taken um, that was given to, you know, people in the Gen Z, you know, demographic, ages, generation. I don't know why I said it like that. And they pretty much said that they want to see less X in movies. And all I have to say to this is I'm so happy. I knew I wasn't the only one thinking this, but I'm so happy that this has been publicly displayed on a very public blog platform because I definitely do think that although X is a natural thing, it's how you got here, how I got here, it's also like a very sacred thing in my opinion and it shouldn't always be displayed everywhere you go. Like I understand there's going to be sites, there's going to be movies that that's what's going to be shown. But it's also like, oh, but it's such an explicit act that I don't always want to see. Like sometimes we watching these movies or shows, I'm just like, why am I watching this? Like I feel like I'm just being a creeper right now. Like this is really weird for me. Like <laughs> I do hope we can reel it back a little bit because it is becoming a bit much it's everywhere already and it can get a little overwhelming so i'm happy that there this was you know put out there and a lot of people are thinking the way i was thinking another thing i want to talk about the last thing oh no second to last thing is celebs graduating so i was so happy to see this so i saw that coley ray and quavo graduated from high school and i just really enjoyed viewing this because there's so much drama so much tea on people so many negative things being spewed about people who have you know public notoriety so to see them doing something that is not only going to be inspirational to the younger's younger people looking up to them to think you know school is kind of cool like heck i'm not i'm not, i don't love school but it's like education really will get you far and being a college graduate being um a college student currently it's like i just enjoy seeing that because i don't think i see a lot of people in the limelight talking about education i mean of course i see them but i don't see a lot of it and when i do see it i'm like i grasp onto it like yes i'm okay i'm doing it like i can i can still do what i want to do and still be a school girly you know what i mean so that was really just wholesome and I just want to share that and just say, y'all, education can be cool. It does get you far and there's a lot of benefits in either graduating high school and are going to college and furthering your academic career that will get you to places and heights. Not everyone needs to go to college because definitely can get to the heights without it. But if you want to, it's, all, it's also cool too. So I love seeing that. And the last topic that we're going to talk about made my blood boil, y'all. Made my blood boil. I saw this clip of this pastor pretty much blessing, more like humiliating this woman. Here goes this stuff and I'm putting the oil in your hand. Give me one more bottle of oil. You sure this is glue? Take it off. Give it the, give it the oil. Give it the oil. Come. We're not on the camera. Come. The woman of God took off her wig. She wasn't ashamed. Give her the oil. Of oil. She took off her wig. Give her the oil. Open it. Deliverance. Open your mouth. Deliverance. Deliverance. 
what I have to say to this is I really hate th these type of people give church and just it gives church a bad name and it 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 is a weird power complex that I see in some pastors and instead of blessing people you're more humiliating them and just embarrassing them and when this woman's wig fell off because he's pouring water on her face when she showed up to church in her Sunday's best put an effort to come to church as her best self and you pretty much eradicated that by just pouring water on this woman's head ah uh, I hope he gets like kicked out the church or something because that was not okay that was really not okay. I really found that disgusting. I found it very just ugly. And I really, I cannot get with some churches and how they move and operate. Not bashing Christianity, not bashing any religion. But I'm just saying, it's some people in those said religions who are really in there with the God complex and are wanting to embarrass and do more harm than good so watch who you're listening to watch who you're receiving the word from because them themselves can really just be the devil so yeah y'all if you guys enjoyed today's video please like comment and subscribe let me know what you thought about these topics discussed in today's video i really am interested in hearing y'all's opinions you know and also make sure you guys follow me on all my social media platforms which will be here and also linked in the description and i will see y'all in my next video bye Ta -da.